Hi everybody! I thought I'd come and share some cards that I made today. Um, I got a chance to do some playing around and let's see. So I thought I'd go ahead and break out this die that I got from the greetery. It is the Botanicut's Lily um, set and there's actually two size lilies in here and then there's some leaves, uh, not leaves, but there's some layers that you cut as well um, and you can use some of them for leaves. So this is the main set that I was playing with. And um, for the first card, there's uh, I did the, I did it in yellow. Um, and this card was created using distress inks on the lilies. So this is the die cuts from that set. Um, and, and they're assembled. And what I used to create this card was distress oxide um, mustard seed and crushed olive. And that's what creates the color here. And I had used my um, makeup blending brushes. These are the two small ones that I have in a 10-piece set because I wanted to try and keep the colors to um, a certain area of the, the lily. <clears throat> so I used the smaller um, brush heads. I also used this set here from the greetery. It is the um, Easter Jubilee set. Now it comes with stencils. Yeah, probably better to look at this way. Um, it comes with layering stencils, but I only use this layer right here that has the leaves for the tulips that you see here. So I only use this stencil, this stencil, and then I use the stamp set for, again, the leaves. So what I did was I used my brushes to ink in the stencil um, using that green um, Distress Oxide ink, and then I stamped with the same color onto the paper. Now, the crushed olive looks a lot greener um, on probably if you had a pure color um, of it. But the thing was, I used a brush that I think had some red still in it. Uh, maybe I didn't clean it well enough. So the, the olive actually turned out a little bit different on the back part where I've done the stenciling. And normally the word Easter fits inside of that stencil. So I've covered up the space where that would normally be occupied by those die cuts that come with that kit. And then instead of um, using those letters that are inside the kit, I put a sentiment in here um, thinking of you. And this is, again, one of the other um, sets that the greetery carries. It is this one right here, but I don't know the name of it. It's all sentiments, and then there's a matching die um, that she has that cuts all the um, pieces for the sentiments. And there's multiple sets in here, but um, the die matches them all. So I just used one of those sentiments for the card. Uh, I did use a border die down here to color a strip of paper with the same um, Distress Outside ink. Um, and I just adhered it down here at the bottom to give it some more um, interest. Uh, and then I added some little water droplet pieces in here. So that is my first card. The second card is actually using the same die set for the lilies, but it is pink. So I had to do a pink one, right? Um, this one has a lot of different um, things on it as well. Um, the pink that I was using here, again, is the dist Distress Oxide. And I should say that this is Sponge Sugar and Mode Lawn. The background was done with ink smushing on a piece of plastic. And I used Tumble Glass and Broken China for the background. Um, I will say for the green highlights inside of both the yellow and the pink cards, I used my colored pencils to create some um, lines or some detail in them. Um, so with this particular pink card, these are the two colored pencils that I used, um, Evergreen and Fresh Green. So that's 254 and 243 are the numbers on the pencils. Oh, um, these are Holbein pencils, by the way. Um, they are not polychromos, but they have the same um, width in terms of the barrel. Um, these are from Japan. 
Um, why did I choose these over my polychromos? I, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just did. Um, so these are the two colors that I used for the green on this particular card. Um, and for the stamen, I inked it with the Mode Lawn first, and then I used some markers that I've had for a little while. These are um, blending markers from American Crafts. Um, I used two colors here to kind of dot in some of the little stamen. Um, I don't, I don't know what colors these are because they don't have color names on them. They're just orange and brown, I guess. Um, but that's what gave me the color here on the stamen, if you can see that um, closely. And then, what else? I did use a dye from the greetery, this outside outside dye here. That is this one right here, this largest one. And does it have a name? I don't know the name of it. But it is, again, another, uh, it's a frame dye from the greetery. So I used that dye to cut it out. And the paper is... Um, Tailored Expressions Cupcake. So that is the that is a close match to the lilies that I um, colored in here with the um, Distress Ink. And then I also used one of the sentiments that I had foiled some time ago. It, I don't know if you can see that it's foiled, but if I turn it into light, you can probably see that it's reflecting some light. Um, this particular terrarium die is also from the Greetery. It's the smaller one. There's two sizes. This is the small, smaller one cut from some silver cardstock. Um, and then I used some additional um, stamp pieces from a stamped um, set that I have also from the greetery that I had stamped earlier using Distress Oxide inks. Um, but you can see the effect that the green has on the pink is kind of blended in because I used these blending brushes again um, to do that. And yeah. Um, that is my second card. So I did two cards this weekend. <laughs> this was my first one, uh, first attempt at doing the lilies, and this is my second one. Um, they just turn out really great when you, I guess, when you get the hang of what's going on when you're doing the inking. Um, she has, a, uh, Betsy Veldman has a video on how she did hers. I think she used colored pencils for hers, um, but I think that just takes longer for me. Um, and I, I think I enjoyed using the ink as... Um, as my coloring medium and then drawing in the the details with the veins and and so you know there's there's actually some impressions that the the die cuts have there's some veining in it um that adds to the detail so you can tell um where you're supposed to put the you know colored pencil lines and stuff so anyway i wanted to share that with you that is it for now and i'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>